looks like the community has figured out who the hooded figure in the Overwatch Invasion teasers is. And it is very surprising. Let's have a look. Hey guys, I'm James H from the Omnic Post. So earlier this week I made a video on the Season 6 aka Overwatch Invasion teasers that we have been seeing on some sponsored Twitch streams. Now if you're not completely up to date, maybe go check out my previous video. In any case, yesterday another of these sponsored streams happened. This time around we got to see a new series of cryptic messages that to be honest did not make a lot of sense. After which that hooded figure reappeared. The figure was accompanied by a message that was warning us for a null sector invasion and telling us that we need to raise an army. He also spoke about attacks on certain cities and the need for heroes. One thing became very clear from this new footage. That hooded figure is a human male. And another thing I noticed even in the previous stream was that the figure kind of looked realistic. But I kind of attributed that to the colors, the distortion and the fact that Blizzard artists are really good. But in this new teaser, that stood out even more. So I started doing research, blowing up the images. I even tried to get some help from AI, but the only thing it started doing was putting flower masks on the face. I don't know. But this was all to prepare a new video in which I was trying to take a guess on who this might be. Is it Soldier 76? Is it Gabriel Reyes? Maybe it's someone no. Well, the last one is actually pretty close. It is someone that we have not seen in game. Now, all of the credit goes to Karkyu's community. They kind of figured this out. And I'm going to try and credit the correct person for each finding. But to be honest, I've been getting this info from all over the place. But let's see. Before we start, I'm going to leave a mark on the point in this video where I reveal who this person is. But I would suggest that you watch the full video. I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. And you might need to understand how we got to that place. Because if you're going to skip and just listen to that name, you're going to be confused. I can promise you that. Let's have a look at the hints we got. The first thing we saw was someone entering a password, at which point the message started loading. Then there were a new series of numbers that translated to the incident. But now it gets interesting. They started flashing HTML and CSS, which is basically code that helps your browser to render a certain website. Just the basic programming stuff. This HTML and CSS included three important elements. First, it mentioned a font called Felix Anthony, which is not an existing font. That is sus right there. Second, there were color codes. One was 042377. The other one was 161616. These are hex codes. They are commonly used to put a color on a background or a certain element in a website. There was also a link. Now the RBGY is a URL shortener, and it pointed towards an image. An image that had the watermark of an existing company. And it's not something they put up. That company has been around for a long time. It has like 70,000 followers on Pinterest, which was extremely weird. At that point, I was thinking that they were just trolling us. But looking back, it's not that random because on the image, there's initials J and C. A few minutes later, we got another numeric code, which included a few letters. And that spelled out Null Sector is coming. So at this point, we know that it is someone trying to warn us, which you would think is very important, right? Well, it's not. Bear with me. The next one was a very clear message. No numbers, no cards. It just stated, the invasion is coming. I need your help to form an army. Now is the time. An army? Excuse me? What? After which the hooded figure reappeared. And this time around, he actually started talking. Now it was kind of hard to understand because there was a distortion effect on his voice. And yeah, the, the streamers I was watching were talking over it. So, I mean, it's the job I understand, but yeah. I couldn't understand much. Now, according to my sources, he was talking about Null Sector attacking Gothenburg and Toronto. And at some point, he mentioned something about heroes needing to step up. And that was the end of the whole stream. I bet you're still confused, but that's fine. Besides the warnings about Null Sector invading, which is slightly lore tinted, we have a few clues. It's a human male. We got the initials JC, the name Felix Anthony, and two hex codes. 042377 and 161616. I'm not sure how I'm going to make this bridge, so let me just tell you. The hooded figure is John Cena. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. I was just as confused and baffled and, well, I didn't really believe it at first. But if you think about it, if you look back at those clues, he is a human male for as far as we know. With all these alien things going on, I don't know. And then there was Twitch user Chudbutt Walker that pointed out that these initials JC stand for John Cena because his real name is Felix Anthony, which I did not know. Later, user Aaron WYL on Reddit pointed out those hex codes 042777, which is the date of birth for John Cena. 
And someone added that 16-16-16 might point at the 16 championships. He won. Now, knowing all that, if you look back at the footage, you start to notice that he is kind of buff. Like John Cena buff. And the bit of his face that we got to see, it could be John Cena. I'm actually on the point where I would be surprised if it's not John Cena. So the next question is, is John Cena going to be a hero in Overwatch? But no, come on. This is a marketing stunt and a pretty expensive one. But it is not the first time that Blizzard does something like this, where they get these big stars involved in their marketing. Back in the World of Warcraft days, they had these really funny ads with William Shatner, Ozzy Osbourne, Aubrey Plaza, even Mr. T and Chuck freaking Norris. And more recently, like a few weeks ago, we saw Megan Fox in an ad for Diablo. So yeah, we might see some John Cena ads pop up in the next few weeks. Now, the lore geek in me is slightly disappointed, I'm going to be honest. But come on, John Cena? My brother is going to love this, because he's a big John Cena fan. And thousands and millions of other people are on the same boat, and those people do not play Overwatch yet. And that is the idea behind this campaign, bringing new players to Overwatch. But what do you guys think? Is this John Cena? Or is it uh, Jeff Kaplan after a 16-month workout? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. A big thank you to Q and his community. You guys did an amazing job on this. Go check out his Twitch channel. I'll leave a link below. Join me during my streams on twitch.tv slash dames6tv and make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch and the WWE, apparently.